Hello and welcome back. The following poem states, if a sample of ethyl chloride with an initial concentration of 0.02 molar is heated at 650 degrees Celsius, what is the concentration of ethyl chloride after 10 hours? And how many hours at 650 degrees Celsius must elapse for the concentration to decrease to 0.050 molar with a rate constant that's equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6 per second? So in this case, we're doing something very similar to the question previous, where we're using a first order reaction. And we know it's first order because, yet again, of the rate constant, where k is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6 per second. Yet again, they're telling us that it is a first order reaction solely based off of the units. So for this problem, we're going to do the same thing. We're in units of, per, of seconds, so we also have to make sure our time is in seconds as well. So we have 10 hours. We know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, and that there are 60 seconds within a minute. So hour and hour, minute and minute, and this ends up equaling to be 36,000 seconds. So in the next part, we're going to use the rate, uh, the first order rate, equa uh, rate equation again, where we have our concentration of our ethyl chloride at some time, in this case it's 10 hours, to our initial concentration of CH3, CH2, Cl, which this is all ethyl chloride, which is equal to the minus of the K times time. Yet again, in order to get rid of the natural, natural log, we do E. And so this simplifies down to CH3, CH2, Cl at some time over the initial concentration of our ethyl chloride, which is equal to E to the negative of KT. We're going to multiply both sides by our initial concentration. And then we're going to plug in the appropriate uh, values into this equation. And we get that the concentration of CH3, CH2, Cl after a period of time has elapsed. I'm going to go ahead and finish writing out the equation just so you can follow along. Is going to be equal to 0 0.0189 molar. And in part B, they are asking us for something similar. They're asking us for the time or how long will it take for the concentration of nitrogen dioxide. Oh, sorry. They're asking us to determine how many hours at 650 degrees Celsius must elapse for the concentration to decrease to 0 0.005 molar. So in this case, we're rearranging the uh, equation like we did previously, where Ln is equal to ethyl chloride at some time over the initial concentration, all divided by negative k which is my rate constant. So once we plug in the appropriate values into this expression, we end up getting 8.7 times 10 to the fifth per second, which, if we want to convert this to hours, ends up equating to be 2.4 times 10 to the second hours. So it is important to, yet again, always make sure you're looking at your units because your units are going to tell you and give you a little bit more information about what kind of rate order is uh, your following reaction, uh, uh, the order of your reaction. Thank you.